You always give me the ones with the hard names. Um, <laughs> Georgios. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I hope I pronounced that right. And yeah, apologies yeah. if I haven't. Um, asked how to rank for near me searches. Cool. Okay. So near me searches, um, what Georgios means by that is I might go, and these have really picked up in popularity over the last few years. Um, I might go to Google and search for electrician near me or plumber near me because you're looking for yeah, someone that's closest to you that you can provide a service. I think the first thing to really point out, and a lot of people don't get this or understand this, is that you don't really need to optimise for near me. Google doesn't look for the text near me in a page and goes, oh, that's relevant for this. What Google's doing is essentially an extension of its Google Maps and IP location. Um, so go away and search um, plumber near me. And what you'll see is that on that first page, as long as Google are doing their job properly, it will be businesses located close to you. Okay, like they, they just know. And in order to know where Google thinks you are, if you scroll right to the bottom of Google, you'll see it has a location we think you're in, or location yeah, yeah. you're in. Yeah. And it will then basically take that and replace that with a near me. So instead of Google doing plumber um, near me, if your location is London, what, they, what Google's essentially doing in the background is searching plumber London. Um, so yeah, you don't have to worry about adding near me into your text because that's not what Google are looking for. They're looking for proximity. So what you want to do is typical SEO best practice. Um, so you want to make sure that your Google My Business profile is up to date. Um, the, your address details are the same on your Google My Business as they're the same on your website. Include them within Schema on your website as well, so Google can understand that a lot more. And make sure that that location, name, address, phone number is the same across the, the wider ecosystems. So all of your citations and directories, make sure that they're all the same. Um, make sure that you mention the town, the locations that you want to appear when someone searches near me on your page and you've optimized them well just from a content point of view, a regular on-site SEO point yeah. of view. Yeah. So, you know, use Google's NLP tool like uh, we went through previously to run your content through. Make sure that that town, that city, that state has a high salient score because uh, then Google sees that copy is more relevant. Um, so yeah, you, backlinks, local backlinks, it's basically any regular SEO. That's yeah. what you have to do for near me. You're not optimizing for near me, you're optimizing for that location. Yeah, I'd say, just to touch on as well, with the Google Maps, you can set your locations that you cover within there. So instead of you having to pick yeah. every tiny little town and stuff that is near a city that you may be targeting, if you set on Google Maps that you're targeting Leicester and plus 20 miles, it will, Google will cover all of that. So, yeah. yeah, And then it ties them back into one.